surgical transplants that have helped people with illnesses may also help those with autism. One Gilbert boy participated in research hoping for help. Cronkite News reporter Ashley Carter shows what treatment meant to the teen and his family and what it could do for others. Before Ben Bonarotti began treatment, he scored a 107 out of 180 on the autism treatment evaluation checklist, according to his mother. Five years after completing the study, his score is now a three. His family credits his progress to microbiota transfer therapy. Ben Bonarotti enjoys riding his bicycle with his friends, wrestling, drawing, and painting. And this is this is a polar bear. According to Ben's mother, five years ago, Ben had a very different life. They made many attempts to heal autism symptoms like repetitive movements and gastrointestinal issues. He still had um, a lot of what we call stimming. So he had hand flapping, he had visual stems where he would seek out visual input. Um, he would have meltdowns from various auditory stimuli. He had explosive diarrhea still. Um, he was wetting the bed, his belly bloating was still there. After being referred to Dr. James Adams for a research study, the family embarked on a journey that would change Ben's life. We take gut bacteria from the stool of very healthy people, very carefully screened, purify that uh, gut bacteria to make it just like a probiotic. Um, but instead of having one or a few strains, it has a thousand strains, those from very healthy people. They swallow it, um, and it has, and they take it daily for eight weeks. After reaching out to families whose children participated in the study, researchers found about a 60% reduction in gut problems and 45% reduction in autism symptoms. What we think is happening is that by healing their gut, now their brain is in better condition. It's a healthier brain, and now it can learn and learn language, learn social skills, learn behavior, so those kids can start catching up to their peers. The change in Ben was striking. The visual stimming was gone. We never, we, we didn't see any of this. We still don't see. So basically all of his autistic symptoms and behaviors are non-existent. Now 15 years old, Ben is working on his expressive language skills and has big dreams for his future. I want to be a doctor. Adam says his daughter, who was diagnosed with autism, inspires him to pursue new ways to treat autism. This team is working on another research phase, this time involving adults. He hopes the treatment eventually will become available to the public. In the Broadcast Center, Ashley Carter, Cronkite News.